Hello teachers, time to learn about the Contic Challenge. Um, just want to introduce the game to you so it brings a little clarity for you. The children, most of them have played it before. There's only a few of them in each grade level who it's new to. So how the game works is um, there's two, two children on the game board. Um, the idea is to have them play eight rounds. Um, each person goes once to make a round. Um, obviously if you only get in six rounds, you're in six rounds. I like to say, well, hey, just let them play for eight to ten minutes and then let it end at that point and make sure it's just an even number that the person went first and the person went second both have an even number of times they're gone. But how the game starts is you roll the dice and you add them up. So when you add up those points, that's eight. So eight is our starting place. That doesn't benefit either player. Now between player X and Y, they roll a the dice, either go the largest or smallest to see who goes first. So for this for this example, we're gonna let player X go first, player Y or play Y, player Y go second. So the object of the game is to use all three dice using any of the four operations, but to come up with a number that already touches an existing number, because you get a point for any score you get, but then any other number you touch on the board you score. So like here, if I added up 6 plus 2 plus 1, that would be 9. Well, 9 doesn't benefit me. It's all the way over here. But if I did 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 lose 1, that would be 7. And that's a point for getting the 7, but it's also a point for touching that grid. So x gets 2 points. So then y rolls. So y rolls a 3, 2, and a 1. Well, for y, they could do 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 1 is 6. They would get 2 points. Too bad they couldn't get 15 or 16, because 15 is worth 3 points, 16 is worth 3 points. And I think there's a way to do that, so we're going to let them get 6 points. So that's one point for getting the six, one point for touching. So then we go back to player X. Player X rolls their dice. They get a four, four, and a one. Oh, wow. So four times four is 16. Oh, sorry, that's a two. Four times four is 16. 16 lose two could be 14. That would be worth three points. If they get 15, it's worth four points. I don't know, can I get 15? I don't think they can. So we'll, we'll let them get 14. So one point for here, one point for touching the 6, one point for touching the 7. They're not touching the 8. It's not worth a point. So that's three points. So now play Y goes. 6, 5, and 2. So if I add those all up, that's a total of 13. So 13 would be worth three points. They'd much rather get a 15, though, if they can. So here is 6 times 5 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Look why they wanted 15. They got one point here. 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So after two rounds, player Y is winning 7, 2, 5. And then you would keep playing this until there's a total of eight rounds or eight or ten minutes is up. As you notice, if I scored 16, it's worth four. And so then you build from there. Um, hopefully this makes a little more sense as you go to explain the game to your children. If you have any questions, please ask. Thank you, guys.